All right, guys. This is your hydraulic pressure relief valve. Works like a like a like a torque. Like a I don't know if y'all guys know what uh, how you set your torque on your tongs on a workover rig. This works similar to that. If you run it all the way in, it's full torque for you. When you're coming out, you want to back it off 16 quarter turns and you can bump up without worrying about busting your line as long as you bump up easy. All right. Um, this is this is my setup right here, man. Now, how fast I go in the hole, let me see. You always want to start off going easy, but... I already know this well here. I know where about I'm a tag at, so I kind of go fast. And how my line spools up, that's a whole different, that's a whole different story right there. I might tell it one day, but uh, anyways, I'm going in at, I don't know if you can see that, about 494 feet per minute. And this is, how to swab without your weight indicator. My weight indicator is way off. I even adjusted it and it still messes up throughout the day, so I don't even worry about it no more. Get it fixed eventually. But this right here is where it's all at, man, your hydraulic system pressure. That's how I know when I tag fluid and that's how I know how much, how much, uh, how much I can pull. But uh, I'm going in at 690, 700. RPM. Some people recommend going up to a thousand. I just keep mine like how I'm rolling now. But um, yeah, whenever you tag fluid, I ain't got no, I ain't got much pressure on it now because I'm still light. And this is a quarter inch line, so it's gonna be light at first. But it'll start climbing, and then once you tag fluid, you see that needle drop. Works, works, works very similar to a weight indicator. get back. I turn the video back on when I get close to tagging. See if I can catch it. I'm going anywhere from 360 feet per minute to 550 feet per minute. That's about average. I should be getting pretty close to tagging you'll see that gauge drop. And you can hear the motor kind of bog down. Every rig's different, man. Just you gotta know your rig. And if that weight indicator was working properly, you'll see it drop. But I'm showing you how to swap without a weight indicator. That's a tag right there. I'm gonna call that 6,700 feet. And with this rig, since the line just a quarter inch, I usually start off only pulling about a thousand feet just to see how much system pressure I have when I'm coming out. But it's, it's different, man. It just depends on if you're getting oil, fluid scattered, or you know, it just, just depends on how deep you are, too. This well here is only 7,500 feet as far as I can go. 7,550 is the X-nipple. But yeah, man, once you tag fluid, just take it easy, keep it steady. And if you ever wonder if you're still in fluid, all you gotta do is just give it a little, you know, go a little bit faster, and you'll see your weight indicator go, it'll go down again. uses my system pressure as a weight indicator to, until I get it fixed.
That's it, man. I'm going to go to 75, and I'm going to come out, and I'm going to show you how much I'm weighing using my system pressure. All right. I'm almost there. I'm going to go to 75. But anyways, I keep my system pressure anywhere from 35 to... Uh, I try to keep it around 35. You got to know your system... Uh, your system pressure hoses what they're rated at. Mine are rated at uh, 47.90. So if you got a, if your hoses are only uh, rated at 3,000 pounds, you don't want to go past 3,000. Otherwise, you'll be busting your hoses. So you might want to take note on that. Know what your hoses are rated for. I'm going to idle it on up. I like to keep it around 1300. That's it. That's how you run it, man. Fix and check them cups. Because I'm running a wire cup in a regular UM2 cup. But in, anytime I run a wire cup, I always check them. Now I just got to reset. Clear that. Zero my line count out. And then after I check the cups, we'll do it all again.